Hello everyone, I'm the Alan. Welcome to Rhythm in Africa. So in this episode, we're talking about the marimba. Let's get into it. So this was one of the first melodic instruments that humans have ever made. So kudos to this instrument because it's stuck on for this long. That's impressive. So no one knows the exact origin of this instrument or the date when it was invented. But research is say around Asia or Africa. But I think Africa wins here because rimba is a African name, African word. And uh, ma rimba means like many little rimbas, right? Those wooden slabs. So that's an African word so Africa wins so it falls under the idiophone family of instruments which just means an instrument that you strike I'm gonna make um, uh, an, a whole episode explaining all these different families of instruments but for now it's in the idiophone family of instruments so they come in different sizes so that there's a choir effect going on so it starts with the smallest which is the piccolo and then it goes to the soprano the second biggest and then, I mean the second smallest, and then it goes to the tenor, and then it goes to the baritone, the biggest. There's also one bigger than that, but baritone for now. So the marimba consists of two main parts, which is the rimba, the wooden slab that you hit, and the resonator, which is like the, the thing on the bottom, which is like an, an acoustic amplifier. So imagine an acoustic guitar, those strings are not loud on their own without that body thing that amplifies the sound. So that's what's happening here, that's what the resonator's job is doing. So in every instrument we're going to learn about, we're also going to learn about tuning, because tuning is quite important. So let's get into tuning now. So tuning on the marimba is governed by the length, the width and the depth or height of the wooden slab and it's shaved underneath like that dome shape underneath so that you that's how you tune it you make the dome bigger it it goes uh, it, it changes the pitch of the wooden slab so that's how you tune the instrument and also the resonator is also tuned that's why you see like on one side it's thick and the other side is thin because it's it's tuned um, until it looks like that so that the sound is like more strong so i've got a fun fact in 1821 guatemala made the marimba their national instrument so let's go to something really fun uh, let's take the marimba apart and let's put it back together and take a look at what it looks like inside let's go So the marimba in Africa usually has six to eight notes, but some have as few as four notes. Um, but when it was introduced to the Western world, they added other notes onto it to give it 12 notes and make it a chromatic instrument. So this, this, the advantage of this is that the marimba will now be able to play any song in any key. Um, uh, as, as opposed to when it's limited. But I personally do not like this because um, the, the limitedness of the notes, like the lesser the notes, makes it African because if you are limited in the number of notes, you are forced to explore the rhythmic dimension, which is infinite. So it doesn't really matter the amount of notes you have. So this is part of the reason why African music has is more rhythmic and less melodic, given the way the lyrics are sung is like rhythmic singing. Um, uh, so, so I'm going to play something for you quickly. Um, we're using very few notes so that you can kind of get the notes of when you, I mean the point of when you use a rhythm to make uh, good music still. Hope this is going to be fun. So 
you can definitely also play this piece on a piano but you can't think about it on a piano you can think about it on a marimba that's why i do not like the marimba having piano notes because now you have piano music but being played on marimba in um, as opposed to marimba music and piano music so this is only just the intro of the marimba we're gonna make more episodes explaining in depth how the marimba actually works and how to tune it and all that so yeah let me know what you think about the marimba and let me know if you have fun facts of your own and whatever else you want to see on this channel put it all in the comments i'll see you next week